Hi. Can I just pick you up on your, your positivity there? Mm -hmm. You're saying that basically you're thinking, in answer to Carla's question, you're saying that you're not even thinking about seven points, not even thinking about that um, you know, possibility. Is that something that you also feel through the players? I'm sure you instill it in the players, mm -hmm. but you know, that, that that's in them, that's in your dressing room. But that's the way we try to behave every single day. And if we could be four points ahead, that's not going to change the season. And we've been there in that situation as well, you know. So probably we learn from it as well. But, uh, but the possibility is tomorrow, you know. Let's have a beautiful day on Sunday when we really perform. We are who we are. And we win that, man, that game in the manner that we want. This has to be what it drives our team. Last season, your, your, you know, your success, your, your, your finishing the tally ball was built on Results against your big rivals, wasn't it? Yeah. You had fantastic results against them. How much confidence does that, those sort of results and those sort of performances give a squad throughout the season? And how much would it give you if you won and repeated it again on Sunday? Well, that tells you that we are capable of doing it, and we did it, as you said, in a really consistent way this season as well. We we're going to Villa, one of the hardest grounds, and we won there. We went to City, played 55 minutes with 10 men. We did it, and uh, tomorrow is another opportunity, and the team has done it. That's the good thing. They already experienced it. They believe how good they are, and that's really important. Hi, Ricardo. Hi. Sunday, you obviously have to deal with our women's sleeve and the back line. Against Bournemouth, Kibio has obviously subbed on and he's replaced with a substitution. Could he, does he have a potential part to play this weekend? And if not, how could, what are the ways you could go around this for that one? Uh, this is one of the options that we have certainly, and Jacob has done it. Is uh, done it there? Obviously, the context that uh, we did it the other day was very different for him as well, um, because of the situation that we have to play with ten men for so long. But certainly, he's one of the options. It's early days, but I thought off had a great start at Liverpool. It's very early to say, but looking toward the future, do you think? Also, we obviously mentioned you and Pep quite a lot, but with Slot, could that be a potential um, rivalry or potential person that you need to keep up, keep an eye on for the next year to come? No, oh, that means that we are all there fighting for the same aims and. Uh, and that it, me, I admire and really like the way he sets his teams in, um, the way he communicates as well. And uh, yeah, we will welcome them on, on Sunday. Jordan? Hi, Michael. Hi. About those different combinations of withdrawings of different back forwards. When you're sat at home on Saturday night and you're, they're going through your head, just how, how stressed um, does it make you going into a big game not knowing what back forward you're going to put out? The only stress, I mean, because it's not the back line, it's the midfield, it's the front line as well. For me, it's stressful will be two things. One, that you don't have options, and then what do you do? That's really. And the other thing that generates not a stress, but you get in the shoes of the player is that every time you make a decision, obviously, it's a positive one for somebody, not so positive for the one that you have to de deal with the human level with that player. And that's what it causes a little bit of, of tummy ache, um, if anything. But uh, that happens every week. That's the process of choosing the lineup and, and understanding how everybody's going to feel about it. And because it is so early in the season, it, it sounds like you could be in a situation where you're taking a risk on a player on the left of on Sunday. Is it too early to be taking risks? Or because it's such a big game, do you think, I need to take a risk on a player? Mm. No, obviously, the risk that we take, on, normally, we want to understand what the risk and what the consequences can be. You not always get it right, for sure, because it's medicine and um, there's a lot of unpredictability and as well the moment you extend minutes on players but uh, I think the player is a great indicator how he's feeling you know how much he pushes you uh, every single day uh, if you have to do it I uh, don't think it's great when players are really pushing you and giving you the right clues to say okay I'm ready I feel good about it um, then it's easier to push and I think everybody's more certain as well and finally to Gary Normally, I prefer to go to bed with the line up in my head so I can <laughs> sleep like a baby. But uh, sometimes it cannot be because you have to wait for the next day, sometimes two days before, or just three days before you already have the idea. You know, against this team, this is what I'm going to do. But uh, when you have uncertainty with injuries, that's, that's tricky. And you've had the option obviously without Williams. Um, what's the knock on effect of that for the rest of the team in terms of how he made his choices his play? You're looking, you mentioned the six, you mentioned the six changes. Yeah, obviously a player in one line, especially if he's a, he's a versatile player that can play in different players, is moved. That has a knock-on effect on, on the rest. And uh, 
if he doesn't, he has a knock-on effect as well. The things that you are able to do because you have to feed the qualities of that player to deliver the game plan that you want. But uh, that's always the case. Okay, everyone. Yeah. Thanks very much. Thank you.